The desk is what makes it. And that's kind of the whole idea of a dream desk. You don't see a desk like this ever. You don't see levitating halves of incredibly well-built pieces of furniture making things, taking things to the next level. Hey guys, Jonathan here. The dream desk is back. It's better than ever, but this time there's a catch. You see, I'm not just building any desk. I am building one for MKBHD. So UPS screwed us. We ordered a 12 South Book Arc for Mac Pro that was supposed to be there yesterday. It's not coming until today, and that's not good enough. Uh, luckily enough, 12 South just hit me up on Twitter. They said there is a store that might have them in stock, so I'm gonna call them right now and see if they can save the day. Who's gonna be my hero? Hey Lucas, uh, I was just curious if you guys had the 12 South Book Arc for Mac Pro in stock? Um, I believe, yes we do. Yes, for sure. Uh, give me one second, make sure it's for the Mac Pro, but I'm almost positive, give me one second. Thank you, sir. I don't want almost positive. I need positive. Yes, we do have one of those, yes. That's for sure. Yes, I'm looking at it. <laughs> All right, I love you. I will be there right. to pick one up. <laughs> got it. <laughs> Marquez should be here about one, so we gotta move kind of quick. Matt, what kind of tape we got? Do we got all kind of, I got, I got a bag full of tape. I got all this tape. Cable management is going to be our task. When all else fails, get every size possible. All the sizes. These are quarter inch. Whoa, that is not what I need. Well then. <laughs> oh no. no! Most of these are good, so we're all right. This is not, I completely just, I screwed myself on the six. These are for some speakers, egg-shaped speakers that sound amazing. So I envision that that stand is gonna help bring this together. Marquez is not gonna see this coming. Boom, egg speakers. So I don't know if the audio guides could lick your ears. This may be equivalent to blowing your, your ears though. Most of the you know, studio monitors we've been accustomed to have the amplifier built into the speakers. This bad boy is separate. We got eggs and trash cans. Austin's head? Hey guys. My head. Wow. I so wish you would've just broken it right there. <laughs> let's, let's, dude, let's, no, let's stop that, let's stop that. The speakers are like right. this or something. Yeah. This somewhere like hidden, like so this like. <laughs> the reason we got a box full of knee braces? Yeah, man, you need to wrap your knees. Oh, okay, nice. Increase sexual function. Especially now how you do it. Well, I disagree. On your knees. Uh, so weird. Wow. So this is Aunt Wanda. It's the perfect cable management solution for your Aunt Wanda. I think it's gonna come in handy. I think this is exactly what Marquez asked for, was an Aunt Wanda. It's your giant joint, John. Jesus. There's kids watching, man. You say you have a giant black thing in your hand. <laughs> this is also, you know what this does, Austin? Increase sexual function. Ralphie. Ralphie's gas tank right now. It's like we know what we're doing. Jesus, man, you're sick. Put it away, man. I'm not attacking what you like. All right. <laughs> so, that's upside down. Gains. Gains, but it's like canvas. It's like three pounds. Oh. Putty's not going to work. Damn it, Gumby. Is it broken? Uh, no, we're good. White walls are dangerous. <laughs> what are those? So, Justin Mahler, place of honor. Marquez logo. All right, so we're trying to run power right now. It's got this awesome cable management system. The problem is the plug has the ACDC end on it, so we have to send it upwards. So we're basically, we're going against the flow here. This is totally gonna work. Don't drop it, where'd it go? This is what we, oh, maybe we can fashion just like a fishing device with this. And that, did it stop right there? Yeah, it was like something. Well, it's, it's where the thing turns. Where's All right, that? sweatshirt off, like this is getting real. Like, <laughs> Yay! Oh, I shouldn't have thrown eggs around earlier. It's crunch time. Maybe 15 minutes yet before Marquez gets here. And cable management was kind of our enemy today. But don't you worry, my friends. We're gonna get this. So somehow we miraculously finished the desk. Marquez is here. I'm gonna go get him so he can check this out. Voila. <laughs> all right, all right. There's a lot going on, but it's also super clean. God, this desk, every time. This desk, man, I need it. 
So the gold mine for this was very much like I would describe an MKBHD video. Really awesome to look at without being overly complicated, but has to have that signature MKBHD red. Now, the heart and soul of this setup is without question the desk. This is the Fertif from Roche Bourbois, and the design is so insane you can't help but look at it in awe. Now instinctively you question how exactly this is possible. You would think anything remotely heavy towards the end of the desk would knock it over, but because of the insane engineering that is obviously not an issue. Where do you plug things? Oh, okay. Oh, is, is there a thing that goes down? Yeah. Oh, okay, the desk, cool. Cable management. Cool, this desk is cable management. That's one thing I did not expect. And then you don't see a lot of the wires that you would see if it was standing up. So it's actually really cool that you have the wires going straight down into the desk, into wherever power is, which I still don't know. Now, as far as the rest of the setup goes, for the monitor, I went with an LG 31MU97. And not only does this offer true cinema 4K, it is one of the best looking and most color accurate monitors I've used, which is perfect for editing that super crispy MKBHD footage. For the keyboard, I went with the DOS 4 Ultimate, and yes, your eyes are not playing tricks on you, those keys are blank. It is definitely a trip if you've never used something like this, but you do get used to it and there's something about the stealthy black look that I love for this setup. Now for the mouse, this is the Logitech MX Master. It looks great, it connects via Bluetooth, which is one less cable to worry about, and at the end of the day, it is one of the best mice out right now when it comes to editing video. Now for the interface, this is the Universal Audio Apollo Twin, which offers insane quality, some of the most amazing plugins in the world, but what I'm more excited for is what this is hooked up to. Those egg-shaped speakers, which were actually dubbed the Egg 100s, are honestly one of the most amazing sounding set of speakers I've ever listened to. They're crystal clear, but pack an incredibly surprising amount of low end, especially for a speaker of this size and without a sub. Now, unlike speakers that have the amplifier built in, these are passive and therefore require an amp to drive them. And not only are you getting amazing sounding quality audio through the speakers. This also doubles as a class A headphone amp, which is gonna help you get the most out of higher end headphones. <laughs> Yo, this desk. <laughs> so good. <laughs> pleasantly surprised. And then when you combine the speakers, see, I don't expect much from a lot of desks in the way of like isolation, but this separates all of the rattling from the desk really well. Desk did not rattle, desk did not move. Sound just came from the air next to the monitors. Sounded really good, felt really good. Hit me in the chest. This is super clean. That's the summary of the, the desk. This desk is, something else really. So that concludes Dream Desk 2. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did and you want to see more episodes like this, definitely let me know by smashing that like button. And for those that stuck around, prepare for your minds to be blown because I am giving away these exact speakers signed by Marquez himself, the amplifier, and a Justin Mahler MKBHD wall piece. The winner will be announced over Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. So whatever your preference is, you can follow me there to be updated. As always, everything featured in this video will be linked below. This is Jonathan and I will catch you guys later. Can in fact touch type. It felt really good too. <laughs> Mechanical <laughs> clicky switches. I like it.